Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I am going to talk about why I am leaving Etsy for eBay. So I have been selling on Etsy for roughly three years. I started in the middle of 2016. Um, I had never sold online before, so it was definitely a new experience, and I came to Etsy very excited. It was a great platform that I personally shopped on, and I liked the user interface, I liked how everything just flowed on there. I even enjoyed listing, and I used it for quite a while. Now, there are three main reasons why I have decided to switch from Etsy to eBay, and some of those are personal decisions that may not affect or uh, really equate to any other Person, but I'm going to share with you what those are. So whenever I started selling on Etsy, the selling fees were 3%, which is actually quite low when you compare it to the 9.2% that eBay charges for the same type of items. So I was happy with the fees. I was happy with the way the website worked. I personally liked using it as a shopper. And I also liked doing the teams. So if you were a reseller on Etsy, and I still think this is true, you can be on a team, which is essentially just a group of other like-minded Etsy sellers, whether they're handmade or vintage, and you do like these little games with each other to help increase your sales, and it's just this camaraderie that you can do because you know you're mostly stuck at home, you're working from home, so you have this extra thing that you can be doing. So I was a team member of a really fun team. I did it for at least eight months to a year, really heavily, and I was participating in that and getting the heart, you can do like hearting sprees where you go heart other people's items and then they heart yours. And then there was like this whole like idea behind that that is going to help you get more sales. But the point is I was really heavily invested mentally, emotionally with Etsy and I enjoyed the process a lot. But over the years, things have been changing on Etsy's business model, which is okay and that's completely fine for them, but it's just, it was less and less working for me with what I was doing. So like I said, Etsy started at 3% fees and then a couple, I guess about a year and a half maybe after I started selling on there, they changed it to 5%. So 5%, not a huge jump, we're still, I mean, when you consider 5% compared to 9.2, that's still uh, lower. So with that added fee increase, many people were jump, you know, they were jumping off of Etsy right then and there. I was sitting back and saying to myself, what's the alternative? You pay more fees on eBay? Now, of course, there are other resellers, websites, Ruby Lane, Mercari, things like that, but they all have their own, you know, issues and pros and cons as well. So I sticked with Etsy because the 5% was justified at that time because they were going to be doing more advertising on a nationwide platform. They were going to be rolling out commercials and, and web things and all of this. So I said to myself, you know, that's not very expensive for what they're wanting to do. And I, I would agree that um, this will benefit Etsy and the sellers. So I stuck with them during that. So now that you know the backstory of my relationship with Etsy, I can go ahead and tell you the first reason why I am leaving Etsy. And that is because my business goals have changed. So it sort of ties into what I was talking about previously about the Etsy teams and all of this. But whenever I started selling on Etsy, I was looking to not necessarily sell things quickly. I know that sort of goes against what many resellers might think, but I was looking to make the most I could make on something, even if that resulted in items setting for months and months and months. And I was willing to do that because Etsy as a platform at that time that I began was all about a curated look. And I was have more heavily into that at that point too. I was willing to take extra time to maybe stage something a little bit nicer. Whereas on eBay, you might, if you're lucky, you'll get a white background on something. But you know, so Etsy was all about like a look and that look was supposed to drive your sales up and give you more money uh, over time. It's all price driven on eBay for the most part and there are many, many, many more buyers on eBay. So because eBay is so large compared to Etsy, 
that results in faster sales. So the first point that I am trying to make here is that I have moved past trying to drip every cent out of something and I now would rather just churn the items a little more quickly. My second point, and it's sort of a smaller one, is that Etsy is very limiting on what you can list. Now they have a 20 year rule for vintage items. They want that curated vintage look. So, you know, if it was 2002 or 2003, we're currently in 2020, they don't really want you to list it. That, that would be considered breaking their rules, their house rules. So that's sort of restricting and it would result in me, sometimes I buy something, I don't necessarily know the age until I figure it out and then it turns out, oh, I can't really list it on Etsy legally, whatever, but I would then put it on eBay. And I did not like having things on over here and over here. That might sound silly, but I just would prefer that everything that I resell is on one platform and especially with having YouTube and having subscribers and everyone wanting to buy things from me, it's easier for me to say here is where you go rather than you go here for this and you go here for this and if you don't see it here, maybe try over here. It's just a little too confusing for me personally to do that and I would rather just list everything in, in one platform. And the final reason I decided to leave Etsy for eBay is because of off-site ads. Now, this is a new service, let's call it, that Etsy is doing for sellers, on behalf of sellers, mandatory for sellers like me who have over, I believe, $10,000 a year in sales. What it means is that all of my items are put on Google, Facebook, wherever else, and they're advertised. Whenever they do this, I don't initially pay for anything, which is great, but whenever somebody, anybody, finds my item on one of those platforms, clicks on the ad, and subsequently buys some something out of my store, it doesn't have to be the item that they clicked on, it could be anything in my store, I get charged a 12% fee. Now it doesn't just end there. As far as what I can tell, and it's very early on, whatever that specific buyer purchases from my shop within a month, I pay that 12% fee on. That adds up quite a lot. Now currently Etsy is experimenting with this service and they are not at the moment charging sellers for it. They're waiting the first month or so while they are showing the ads and they're doing this i guess to show you how much it will not affect you but this is actually making me worry more than it's helping their cause so i noticed in a two-week period that i would owe an additional 40 dollars in fees based on this new thing now we can extrapolate some of those numbers and maybe forecast what it could potentially be once they decide to be a little bit more liberal with advertising once they know that they will be reimbursed. This is unknown. So based on what I sell and my numbers that I see, I could easily pay anywhere between $100 to $150 extra in fees on Etsy. Now I do drive a lot of sales to my Etsy shop just because of my YouTube presence and my Instagram and that helps a lot with sales but there are a number of subscribers that will continue to search for my shop on Google and just click on any of my listings that comes up and what that means is all of those items that they clicked even though they know of me from my YouTube or Instagram I will still be charged that 12% fee. So I didn't think that that was entirely fair considering I am still driving the traffic and it's not the fault of the subscriber or customer, but I'm not happy with the way that this program is set up as it directly relates to what I do. So that's the third reason why I am switching to eBay. Now that said, eBay does have a higher percentage fee per item as it sells, which is 9.2%, which I mentioned earlier. But I think that that will balance out over the long run. One other point that I wanted to make about listing on eBay as opposed to Etsy is that Etsy has been very vocal in how it would prefer that you include free shipping on your listings. Now, 
This is a debated topic and it's and eBay is probably also on board with that but Etsy has gone so far to encourage directly encourage their sellers to offer free shipping now I have been including shipping for the past year and a half at least ever since Etsy started to mention that it may benefit your sales I have been including shipping and I did that to increase my sales to stay in Etsy's good graces and it has generally worked well for me. The only problem is in the vintage category with hard goods, it's very hard to include shipping because things could be all different prices depending on where they go, just in the United States alone. I am centrally located in Illinois, which does help matters because something that is going to California and something that is going to New York can be pretty balanced out on my end with a little bit of number crunching. But if you were on the East Coast and shipping to the West Coast and trying to include free shipping, that would be very difficult because what if you sell something to New York and you're in New Jersey? It doesn't make sense. Now we're talking about a 20 to $30 price difference here in shipping alone that can be a very big turnoff to buyers. So in some ways I am looking forward to having that freedom to do calculated shipping again on eBay. Now I did start on Etsy doing calculated shipping. I mentioned that. I didn't always do free shipping. In some ways free shipping has helped my business and in others it has made it a nightmare. It has made calculating margins and marking down items for a sale almost impossible. So there are a few benefits to selling on eBay for instance, if you have a store subscription, you may get uh, credits to buy boxes and shipping supplies. I can now utilize auctions, which is something that I couldn't do before on Etsy. I should have quicker, faster sales, and it may possibly be cheaper for me in the long run. So those are the main reasons why I decided to switch from Etsy to eBay. It was a very hard decision to make, but I wanted to share my reasons. And if you have any questions on Etsy, you can let me know in the comments below. I know less about eBay, but I am certainly not a beginner because I have sold things on eBay. But I will wrap this video up here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.